Hello and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, this is my channel, Christina's Cleaning and Homemaking. And if you've been here before, thanks for coming back. If you like my videos, I ask you to please click the subscribe button down below. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, click the little bell and it'll remind you whenever I have a new one uploaded. Um, today's video is going to be about a haul I did. So there's really three different hauls here. I did one at Pat Catan's, which is a sort of craft store. Um, about three years ago, Michaels bought it out, and they decided at the beginning of this year that they were going to close out Pat Catan's, which I'm really bummed about because the beads that I make for my use to make my rosaries, I get a lot of them at Pat Catan's, so that source is sort of going to go away. So I've been stocking up on a lot of the supplies they have there, but um, I also get a lot of other stuff there too, like things for decorating the hall. But um, the other haul that I did, I did two different hauls at the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to show you the stuff that I got at Pat Catan's recently, as well as the two different hauls from the Dollar Tree because I got some stuff there and loved it and decided to go back for some more. So um, the first thing that I'm going to show you is some of the items from Pat Catan. So the first one I got is this. It's a nice table runner. Um, as you can see, it has this nice brown fabric, and then it has this trim on the side, this edging, and then it has these flowers, like a wreath shape, stitched with ribbons. And I thought that was gorgeous, so I'm gonna lay that out on my dining room table. And I have a vase there full of flowers I got at the Dollar Tree, which the flowers I'm gonna show you from my most recent Dollar Tree haul are very similar, if not almost identical, to the ones that I got before they're on my dining room table. Hence the reason why I got some more, because they turned out great, and I love them. And then I also got this, which I thought was absolutely gorgeous. And I don't know where I'm going to hang it yet, but wherever I'm going to put it, it's going to look fantastic. It's going to bring a lot of light and color to the room, very springtime. So, that was the second item that I got at Pack of Hands. And then I got three of these ribbons that say thank you on them. And I use those to tie up the boxes when I ship out my rosaries, whenever my rosaries sell. And it's sort of my way of, well, saying thank you to the customer when they buy a rosary. So that's why I got the thank you ribbons. I'll probably go back and buy more soon, but I wanted to grab those at least. And then I got a bunch of, similar to these jump rings that I use a lot to um, connect the rosary to like the station and the crucifix. So that is the haul from Pat Catan. And then um, the haul today from the Dollar Tree, I got these flowers. I mean, they look really fantastic. So I got these to go into, I have two vases actually, so there's some really long ones. And then I got another set of flowers in the bag that will go into a smaller green, kind of a um, frosted blown glass type of vase. My sister-in-law gave it to me looks beautiful so I'll put the smaller flowers in that put that on an end table and then these my husband wants for his um his library his office to sort of brighten it up some since the ones in the dining room made it look so bright and springtime-ish so got these as well at the Dollar Tree and then I also got this to replace the um the paper towel holder that I have on my counter I have a wood one right now but I thought this looked just really nice and clean and sleek. So I got that at the Dollar Tree. I also got two baskets, two wire baskets. And what I plan to do is take these, I'm gonna see if I can suction cup them onto the inside of my kitchen sink. So that way, when we're done eating, the kids can just throw their forks and knives into this. And then, um, then that way the water will just drain through it and rinse the utensils. So that way they don't just you know get stacked up in a bowl and you know, stay dirty. So the next thing I got was these napkin holders. Um, right now I have a wooden one on my dining room table, but with the glass space with the flowers in it, it just, it doesn't look like it's in the same season. So I got these because there's close to a clear napkin holders I can find so there'll be one on each side because it's a decently long table. It seats, let's see, eight people. So I'll have this on one side of the vase and I'll have this on the other side of the vase 
And so we'll have two of these on there now. So I thought these were really great and I picked these up. And let's see, the next thing I got. <clears throat> now, I got this. It's an outlet extender because I have, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna move our Keurig coffee maker over to another counter in the kitchen and it has an outlet right behind that counter but we have the refrigerator there and the microwave there so this is going to split one of those outlets so that way we can plug in the microwave and the coffee maker because my husband likes to use the coffee maker to actually make cocoa not coffee but we only have two outlets there and since we want to keep the refrigerator plugged in and the microwave. This is going to be necessary in order to plug in the coffee maker. And then I got like six of these. And then, well, today I went back and I purchased more of them. So now I have, I think, like eight or ten of these. And these I'm going to stick up underneath the cabinet. I'll probably do a video of that. Um, because I noticed that in some of the YouTube videos that I've been watching of um, some of the people that I like who do videos, that they have a lot of illumination underneath their cabinets and it looks awesome. And then this way, we don't necessarily have to turn on the light if we want to see something under the cabinet. We can just press this and turn this on so this will light up underneath the cabinet for us. And it's adhesive, which is awesome. So basically, we'll just stick it up underneath there and then be able to tap it whenever we need some light. So I got a bunch of these. And then I got three of these. They are the fabric um, bins and they are collapsible because of fabric. And so I plan to put these under the baby's changing table and I'm gonna use them to organize like blankets and burp cloths and stuff like that because while I have plastic bins under there right now, it just, the plastic bins are a little bit small for me. It just doesn't look as organized as I'd like. So I'm gonna get that to make them look sleek and pretty and organized. And then these, I got these flowers because I think I mentioned it earlier, um, we have a glass vase, it's like a blown green glass. I figured that these would look really good in it. Um, there's a touch of yellow. I, I thought about purple, I thought about blue or red, but because it's green, I just, these seem to me like they might be the best to coordinate with that vase since they're sort of a neutral, and I figured they'd be nice. I mean, it's spring looking. My baby's wanting to get in on the talking. Um, and. I also got this table runner. Now I have another brighter green one that's more Christmassy, and my husband liked this. So we decided to get this. It's it's a decent length actually, and then it has these little points on it. So uh, we may end up putting this on the coffee table for sort of a spring themed thing. And then um, we have a little rug in the front hallway coming in the door, and that's where we stop to take off our shoes, but it likes to slide around. So we got this here um, to put underneath that so it won't slide around as much. So that way when we go out the door, it still stays put and doesn't slide up to where the door closes, giving us problems, or it doesn't slide out further on us when we're in there trying to step on and take off our shoes. And then my son who's in seventh grade, he had a binder, and it's pretty well busted up at this point. I mean, we are coming close to the end of the school year. So I got him a new one, three ring binder. It's a, a one inch, so hopefully it'll hold everything he needs it to. And it has the three rings and the pockets on either side. So think about it, Dollar Tree school supplies. I, I know I did that at the beginning of the year for school supplies, but I just can't tell you how often school supplies sometimes fall apart towards the end of the school year and you need to get new stuff. And then they had AAA batteries too. So instead of paying out a bunch of money for name brand batteries, we got these and I mean it's only a dollar a pack we got three packs so you know if they last a little less time at least we're only paying a dollar for them and then we got some things for Easter we got these cute crosses that are uh, candy crosses that are really nice um, so we actually got three of these in white they had chocolate too but we don't want the kids fighting over them so we got these three in the white and then we got these smaller ones too because well you know they're nice and it even has it has this inside and it has on the front may his light shine upon you and it's milk chocolate so we got 
three of those, and then we got praying hands as well. And that was really cute. And it says, hear my prayer. And I don't think I've seen those before, but it was adorable. It has a little, a little prayer inside, which I thought was nice. So we got those for them for Easter. Yeah, there's three of each of those. So all three boys get the same thing because it's just easier than having them fight over. And then we got these guac chips, which they don't taste as much like guacamole as I'd like, but they're still good. And then for the Easter, we also got them. These are classic that I loved as a kid, the uh, marshmallows covered in chocolate in the egg shape. Let's see one more back here. And then in the last bag, I got two of these potpourris since we're sort of in the spring summertime now. So I'm going to change out these cinnamon scented potpourris with that. And then um, I also got these suction cup hooks because there's a little picture, sort of, not a picture, it's just one of those like, it's one of those nice little um, hanging things that says, I believe, grateful on it. Anyway, I'll show you it later probably in a video, but I want to hang it up over my stove and I'm not going to put nails and tile, so I'm going to use a suction cup and hopefully these will be strong enough and then it'll hold it just fine. But I was really excited when I saw this and I also plan on using these suction cups to take the little baskets that I got for the uh, flatware in the sink. I'm going to try and see if I can suction cup them to the sink and hang the baskets off there. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I, you can still use suction cups in a lot of places at home. So I believe that is all of my haul and I hope you enjoyed watching my video and if you saw anything that you liked that's interesting to you. Um, I got, like I said, the vast majority of this at the Dollar Tree and then the other items I got at Pat Catan, so if you have a Pat Catans near you, which I think they're mostly on the East Coast, you might want to get over there soon because they are trying to clearance out all their items since the stores are closing and only some of them are going to be reopened as Michaels. But thank you for watching my video. If you could go down below and click like and click subscribe and the little bell if you haven't already and I look forward to seeing you in more videos.